Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and uh, as you can see it's raining a lot but in fact I like it this way because the pollution is done and uh, I will enjoy a nice ride this afternoon or maybe I will just go running and these are the neighbors climbing back on their e-bike the three people <laughs> and uh, today I would like to tell you about teaching in China uh, about fake degrees so um, as I told you, the requirements to work in China, um, to teach in China at the university and for a private school, what you need to have is a four-year university degree. And of course, if you have more, then it's always for the best. So if you have a master's degree, then it's better. If you have a teaching degree, then it's better. But if you just have a four-year university degree, it's enough for you to teach in China. But uh, some people, some foreigners, they don't have uh, any uh, university degree. And um, once, um, once I had, uh, I, I, I knew, I knew a foreigner here, and uh, he told me that he did a fake degree. He just did a fake degree, and he found the company online, so they provide fake degrees, and he just uh, was recruited by the university. And apparently, this is really common practice. So you have many foreigners, uh, they will just come here to China and uh, they don't have the degree, they don't have the university degree, but they are American citizens, they are a native English speaker, and they, they are here to teach English. And uh, what they will do is they will just do some fake degrees. So how many foreigners are doing this? I have no idea, of course, because people will never tell you when they do this. And is it a good idea to do a fake degree so you have no, uh, no degree, you cannot work in China? And uh, is this a good idea to do this? Um, of course, I'm not going to suggest <laughs> that you do this. I'm not going to give you any advice uh, because this is totally illegal. And uh, I think if the police catch you, or if for this you will certainly be kicked out of China and maybe you will have to pay a fine I'm not sure what would happen maybe they will send you in some jail for one week uh, but I think uh, what they will do is just kick you out of China uh, so the, I'm not sure if you could go to jail for this I'm not sure uh, now um, are there any control I don't think so. I think the university, uh, when you come there and you want to work as a teacher, they will just look at you, they will maybe see you, and then they will look at your CV, they will, they will just grab your uh, copy of, the, of your degree. They, they have no idea, they have no idea uh, on the de uh, of, uh, about your degree. Uh, they don't ask for any translation. So you just come here with your degree and they, they cannot distinguish between a real degree and a fake degree. They have no idea. So uh, they will just uh, trust you, trust your words. So it's really, really easy. If you uh, produce a fake degree, uh, the university or the school, they will not see through it. And I believe there are many, many private schools who just, uh, um, they just uh, have the foreign teacher and uh, these, they, they, will, they will, in fact, they are the one who will manage everything and deal with, with everything. They are the one who come and recruit the foreign teacher and they need to have the working visa for him and they will not hesitate and even they will produce some fake degree even without your knowledge. So you have some foreign teacher here, they come here in China, they don't have a four years university degree, they work for a private school and they get the working visa. But they are, what they don't know, what they don't know is that the school, the private school, is uh, in fact producing fake degrees and for them and giving these fake degrees to the administration so that they can get the working visa for them. So the foreigners quite often don't know this. They don't know that you need a four-year university degree to work here. And they don't know that the school behind their back is doing this. So this is something that can happen. But again, there is very li limited risk. There are very limited risk. And uh, I don't know how many foreigners do this. And there is something else that you should know. Once you've been working two years in China, then you will get a specific paper that you can ask for the university and I think for the pri from the private school as well. And it will state that you have been working for them for two years. And uh, you will get the foreign e expert certificate and uh, then you will get this paper. You have been already working in China, teaching in China for two years. And then uh, when, you, when you are looking for the next job, then uh, most of the time they will not even ask for your degrees. They will just ask uh, for your past experience in China. So all you have to do is uh, 
uh, provide this paper that you have already been working here for two years and that's all you will, you will be asked to do. So you, you won't need any, any more degrees. And uh, okay, so that's, <laughs> that's what I wanted to tell you today. So there are many fakes in China and I'm not sure about Chinese people if they also do the fake. I think uh, Luzela Wai told you about this once in his video and it's really good that he explained this. That quite often uh, in China uh, some people will ask you to pass the exam for them or um, and that's even better. They will get the real degree but in fact they are not the ones that didn't go there to the exam. Someone else took the exam for them. Or uh, maybe there will be also many fake degrees in China, I'm not sure, for Chinese people how, is, uh, how, how it is. And um, anyway, I will just uh, leave you for now. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you next time. Take care everyone, see you next time.